And to present this final award to the winner, we have the chairman of the award jury, a great writer and broadcaster, and a wonderful all-round guy, Mr. Charlie Gillett. Hello. Well, I actually grew up about 35 miles south of here, down in uh, Little Stainton, a little village halfway between Stockton and Darlington. And all those years, I never realized this place was here in Gateshead. <laughs> so so these, uh, these awards are very different from any other music awards that I know about, because in most cases, the awards simply reinforce what has already happened. Somebody sold a lot of records, you give them an award. Okay. No, nothing changes. But with these awards, all kinds of things change. You've heard Marisa talking. There are musicians all over the world and our accordion player in the north of Argentina, a bunch of guitarists in the Sahara Desert, they have not the faintest notion that an event like this might be awaiting a year or two down any line. It just doesn't cross their mind. Just as for the people of Tyneside, when they are told that there is this event on March the 5th, a lot of them buy tickets on a very good faith because they really have a very little idea what's going to happen either. So it is a kind of a, a blind date between the musicians and the audience. And I hope you've all enjoyed it so far. So these awards, it turns out, this is now the fifth year, celebrate two different types, if you like, of musician. One group who were really only just known, if at all, in their own country. I mean, Chango Spaziuk is not a household name in Argentina. He won't mind me telling you this. And so we could go through today's list. Most of the artists that you've been enjoying today are not famous in a big global sense. Yusundur, of course, is. And so is the winner of the Middle East and North Africa section. It's actually very difficult for me to convey quite how popular Khaled is in the world that knows about him. He, he was famous young, as a teenager, living in Iran, when what, you, what, what he made was little cassettes and everybody fighting in the street markets to get the latest cassette by Khaled. In the 80s, it moves to vinyl, he has to move to France because some of the subjects that he's been singing about are very controversial. And in France, he becomes what's known as the King of Rye. And this is using drum machines, synthesizers. But the music that he plays, if you ever go, if anybody goes to North Africa, you will think you're hearing Khaled everywhere you go because what he has done is represent the music of North Africa in a way that is accessible to those of us from outside it. In the 90s, he made several million selling albums, from one of which was taken a song that when Luc Presson, the director of The Fifth Element, wanted to find music to represent Bruce Willis driving a kind of futuristic uh, airplane taxi through the skyscrapers of some city of the future, the music that best represented that excitement was Alec Tadi by Khaled. So, I want you to give a big shout for the winner of Middle East and North Africa, Khaled. Thank you. A planet, a planet yes. for a famous singer of the planet. Yes. So Khaled, yeah. if I was to say to you, that in, the, in North Africa, you are as famous as the Beatles ever were in the UK. Is that okay for me to say that? No, the Beatles. You beat uh, the Beatles. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Et je dédie ce petit cœur pour ma petite femme, Samira, et mes trois petites filles, Sarah, Kenza, et Rosen. Thank you very much. Salam alaikum. Thank you. Merci. Peace.